What's up, friends? Steven here in the studio. Great to have you guys for Hope On Demand. You know! Great to have you guys here today, man. Uh, really excited. You know, I, I uh, making these types of videos, you need to understand something. First of all, we I, I believe in, in this. I believe in, obviously, Jesus, but I believe in His power, in His love, to transform lives and uh, my life is a living example of that very thing we've seen hundreds of, of teenagers of family members uh, of, uh, of people in isolated and remote communities have this type of have this type of thing happen in their lives so when, when I when I tell you that we're excited about this hope on demand series and what it means for your life for my life for all of Canada we, we just I, we believe in it so much today I want to talk about one thing in particular and it is found in the book of Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 4 and so in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15 what we were talking about hope we're talking about how God can really help us in our lives in verse uh, 15 it says this high priest meaning this Jesus right high priest is like that's an old Jewish uh, reference right but this Jesus this God this friend of ours understands our weaknesses for he faced all the same testings we do yet he did not sin so in verse 16 it says let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God there we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most this this idea that that we have a god right and like when i was a kid i used to love watching hercules uh the the disney uh, movie and and you you see you know in that movie of these these gods and they're they're all powerful and then you know they they they're very hard to get to and i when i was growing up i mean I, that was the idea i had about jesus that he was this all-powerful being who wanted nothing to do with me me being a, a, a lowly kid down in what Ottawa Ontario what does God want to do with me Hebrews 4 and 15 and 16 it shows us it, 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 it outlines that not only does God want us to come to him when we're needing it most when we're feeling the most alone the most vulnerable the most isolated the most depressed the most suicidal the most sad right all of these things not only does he want us to come to him but he is someone who understands our pain friend i just i need you to know that god understands he understands like no person could ever understand your pain he understands you know the, your, your struggles he gets it he knows what that feels like and there's no judgment cast on you at all verse 15 there it says that jesus was he struggled he was tempted in everything that we've ever been tempted with everything we've ever you know wrestled with jesus here he's gone through those same things yet he did not sin and because he didn't sin and he died on the cross for you and for me that gift of not sinning of being the perfect the, the perfect person that gift is extended to you and to i friend the reality here is that god is jesus is someone for you that that it's a love that it's a love that is so powerful that it changes it it changes hearts it changes lives it's a love that is so powerful that it transforms broken parts in our lives this is the hope that that we we, we want you that i want you to feel this liquid powerful love that that transformed my life when i was 14 years old so i pray that you would be filled with this liquid love even sitting watching this video right now and god would you fill every person would you touch every person's heart would you show them how real you are to them? In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Friend, that's uh, Hope on Demand for today. Um, love you, man. Believe in you so much. You know, just if, again, if you haven't already, head on over to YouTube. Subscribe to the Arctic Hope Project. Like and share this. Share this video with someone who you think, who you know, uh, needs this type of love, needs this type of hope. Subscribe to the Arctic Hope Project. Share it with your friends. And uh, we'll see you next week. Peace!